Hi everyone, WordPress. It is used and it's used by companies, not just individuals for blogging purposes. So over the years, I have um, extensively worked to produce sanitized code in plugins with several different companies. And I have also broke into many WordPress websites for clients while pen testing. Now, um, some of you are aware of the fact that I am a uh, certified ethical hacker and I do have uh, several other certifications pertinent in cybersecurity. And as a cybersecurity professional, when you're pen testing, you get to know which platforms are easier to break in than others. And of course, what better way to learn how to secure your website than to actually find the holes and the flaws and then go ahead and give some feedback to those out there who have WordPress websites so they can better secure their WordPress site. So I'm just going to go over it. two plugins. That's it. Um, we're going to keep it very simple. And these are two very valuable plugins. And what I have here is this is just off of the website for Bluehost. Um, which is a, a, a big hosting company that does a lot of WordPress. And as you can see here, 43% of websites in the world are using WordPress. So this is pretty amazing statistics. Whether you like it or not, there's a ton of PHP-driven websites out there. Of course, WordPress, for those of you who are not familiar or technical with the code that's used, it is based on PHP, which is an open source uh, programming language that I feel is, is very powerful. I've worked extensively with that to develop e-commerce applications before there were so many tools out there. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these plugins. Okay, so as far as the login is concerned to prevent brute force attacks, you have a couple options here. You have a uh, loginizer and you have WPS hide login. So uh, basically, I'm going to activate this one. I already downloaded it. Okay. Hide login, and then we're going to go to our settings here, and then you are going to put whatever you want as far as the login page. Um, and we are going to have so protect your website by changing the login URL and preventing access to the wp login.php. So that is the default page right there. So we want to avoid that page and the WP dash admin directory to non connected people. Okay. So, um, redirect URL when someone tries to access the WP login page and WP. Okay. So we can right there. You keep that. Okay. I would say leave that. And then you put this for whatever you Want. Okay, so I get I don't really need to walk you through all of this. So why don't we just leave it there? Okay, we'll leave it as log and save changes. All right. So there you have it for that very easy to install plugin. And then the next one that I want to go over is called WordFence. And this is probably something that you have seen online. Okay, so let's back it up a little bit. We are going to go to our plugins. Now, for those of you who don't have it installed, you want to just click Add New. Okay, WordFence. <clears throat> this will bring up the word fret, uh, fence, which is the most popular. And they also do have login security as well. Okay. 
So now that's two-factor authentication, which I think is exceptional. If you want to install that to complement this, but we're just going to go over WordFence. So after you install it, then you get this little button thingy here. You want to then go to the dashboard. All right. And over here, you have all the options on what you want to do. Um, it's going to keep trying to get you to update to the premium, but the WordFence itself is free. And I think that that is sufficient for a website. Most likely it's a personal website, small business, no problem. That is more than enough. So that is everything in a nutshell. By the way, WordFence does have the ability to have a firewall. You have diagnostic tools here. Um, you have um, the ability to go ahead and see who came in from where, so on and so forth, uh, the country. Um, you can really get into the, uh, I'm not going to say it's kind of like being a SOC analyst, but there's some detail here. So you can go ahead, see where the logins are coming from. and. You, know, you can act accordingly and set parameters. So if you want to really get into the login security, you have all options. You can go ahead and have some fun um, setting the parameters that you feel suits your goals. Um, here's the firewall link here. And initially it'll give you a little walkthrough. Okay, all firewall options. And then I mentioned the blocking. Okay, optimize the protection, advanced brute force protection, and then rate limiting here, allowing and disallowing certain URLs. Okay, so if certain uh, requests are exceeded continuously, you can go ahead and have that blocked. So a lot of this is going to be up to your goals, but what I wanted to present to you today was two programs that can really help as far as your overall security. Okay, so I hope this video helped you to get an idea of uh, some simple plugins that you can literally um, spend 15 minutes configuring and it's gonna make a massive difference as far as securing your WordPress website. Take care, everybody.